Well, hello there, my gorgeous, wonderful, fluffy fuzzballs. As you can see, we have some fluffy fuzzballs. <laughs> I got these at uh, Dollar General because they were incredibly cheap, and that's how I roll. But there was this little llama, and it says it's a llama on the tag. It kind of looks a little sheep-esque, but if the tag says it's a llama, that's close enough for me. It's got this little bow here. And they both have, like, matching bows. I know. I mean, how could you not? I did, that's just so adorable. <laughs> Llama, you're, you're, you're a grown man and you're buying plushies to put in a display cabinet in your living room. Yes. I know. Anyway, this kind of looked like Llama-esque to me. Although it, it's 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 clearly a unicorn, um, kind of has a baby llama look to it, so I'm thinking it's a baby llama corn. Legit, and these were incredibly cheap. I think these things were uh, like a doll. Oh, literally a dollar. <laughs> so, so there's that. There's another baby llama corn. We're just going to go with a llama corn because, uh, you know, I, I'm not really finding a lot of uh, llama related plushies around. So when I do find one that kind of looks like a llama, I'm like, you know, close enough is good enough. These guys are pretty cool because they actually stand on their own. A lot of the uh, the plushies kind of just near fall over. <laughs> And, uh, and that's not good, but they seem to be fairly decently made for as cheap as they are. Uh, the, the brown one and the white one are both exactly the same, um, you know, color difference, obviously, but I just thought that was neat. What I think I'm going to do is put, like, the brown one and the white one, kind of like on different sides of the, of the, uh, 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 Final, uh, a cabinet over there. In fact, let me do a before and after shot of the cabinet and see if you can figure out where I've put these guys. I think that would be pretty nifty. Let me do that real quick. Because of glare, I think I'm going to do one side at a time. You guys have an idea of what's on this side. Now we're going to close and go to the other side. It's kind of like morning, and the sun comes in kind of weird, and, you know, there's a cat down there wondering why I'm completely ignoring the cat. <laughs> and I know you guys are probably wondering, who's that? That's a teddy bear. The teddy bear is Monty. He's from Montreal. Not a long story. I just don't feel like telling it. This, this is the kind of video that nobody ever asks for, <laughs> but, but I do periodically anyway, because I am llama, and that's how I roll. But uh, now, we're going to see the after video, well, the clip, after uh, I put all of these things in the, uh, in the cabinet. And I think it looks pretty nifty, so let me know what you fellers think. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to do my uh, my last little clip that I promised. Right, here's the top part. I only really changed this one side. Seems like a good idea. Anyway, you got guy there. You got the pink one hiding in the back. And you got this majestic looking feller. And all kinds of good stuff going on. Anyway... There you go. <laughs>